Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the latest Ecoid WH45 5-in-1 indoor detection sensor. Thanks for Ecoid for selling their review units. First of all, we need two W batteries, but plugging two power source is strongly recommended. Then you see the red light lights up, it means it's powering on. Now, it's time to check out the Ecoid dashboard because we've got four new tiles on the screen. Comparing to the original WH43 indoor air quality sensor, the WH45 comes with four extra sensors. Here is the size comparisons of the particles. Both of them can be detected by PM10 sensor, but a smaller one can be detected by PM2.5 sensors only. Next up, I brought the indoor sensor with me for a three days outdoor environment test, and I was about to film my entire journey. And unfortunately, I will need to apply for a female consent in order to use any of the footage captured from my camera in Brisbane areas. And here we are, the results without touching boundaries of laws in Brisbane. For day two, there was an ongoing bushfire burning in Fraser Island, and a smoke was affecting Brisbane City. And I got there on a Sunday during night time, captured the data where there was no winds with light traffic around and the results are actually very similar to forecast. Because of bushfire, the tiny little particles are way smaller than 2.5 micrometers and that will explain why the results are very similar. On day 3, things went a little bit different here. We have the local traffic with light winds and here are the results. So, for the bottom line, from the field test, the WH45 provides you an easy access and very precise measurement at home for your Ecoid ecosystem and home appliances. And the forecast, it usually takes a couple of days or even a week to update the impacts of bushfire to areas. The sudden change applies like the nearby bushfire and the local traffic will definitely affect the forecast. With the WH45 sensor, that will give you an affordable and accurate data at home. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.